embark on a journey to ancient Greece, a realm of profound cultural influence that laid the foundation for Western civilization's evolution. Revered for their martial might and a penchant for individuality, the ancient Greeks diverged from unity, embracing the sovereignty of their city-states. Yet, this very autonomy kindled internal strife, ultimately rendering them vulnerable. In a twist of fate, this vulnerability beckoned the ascendant Roman Empire, whose 215 BC alliance with Philip V of Macedon marked a pivotal moment. However, the bonds of trust frayed by 197 BC, triggering a rupture. The ensuing Battle of Cycle witnessed Rome's ingenious monad below strategy in action, leading to an unequivocal triumph. This seismic loss rocked Philip V's influence in Greece's equilibrium. This saga etches an indelible narrative, chronicling the synergy and discord between ancient Greece and the burgeoning Roman Empire. A tale of valor, innovation, and shifting fortune, it resonates through time as a testament to the interplay of destiny and human agency. The Battle of St. Joseph is considered a milestone in military history, as it was the first time that the tactic of menopause was used on a large scale and proved to be extremely effective. From 171 to 168 BC, there was another war between Rome and Macedonia. Perseus, son of Philip, the fifth fled Macedonia in the conflict. The city of Athens, long at war with Macedonia, declared support for Rome, which made it easier for Romans to land and advance on Greek soil. The Roman forces, led by Lucialius Aemilius Paulus, achieved a decisive victory at the Battle of Pedido in 168 BC marking the end of the war and the beginning of Roman rule in Greece. In the following years, Rome participated in conflicts with the Achae and leave an alliance of Greek city-states to maintain independence against growing Roman influence. The Greek peninsula was conquered by the Roman Republic during the Battle of Corinth in 146 BC. This battle was a major confrontation in the Third Punic War between the Roman forces, led by Lucius Mummius Sarcophagus and the Greek forces of the Aegean League, led by Diogenes. A sign of the battle took place near the Greek city of Corinth. The Achaean League, allied with Carthage and Macedonia to resist the growing Roman influence in Greece after Carthage and Macedonia were defeated, Rome focused attention on the Athenian League. The grandeur of the Roman forces eclipsed that of the Greek counterparts both in numbers and strategic finesse. This clash culminated in an unequivocal triumph for Rome, leaving Corinth ravaged and obliterated, while the dominion of the King's League crumbled into oblivion. The Battle of Corinth marked the cessation of Greek sovereignty, solidifying Roman dominion over the expanse. This pivotal encounter also drew the curtain on the Third Punic War and drew the final stroke in the enduring feud between Rome and Carthage. The city had been raised in an antecedent campaign masterminded by Roman statesmen and military tacticians. A million fortune bestowed upon you would scarcely suffice for this revelation. Rome's conquest of Corinth became the bedrock of its supremacy in the Mediterranean realm anointing the Roman Republic as an unparalleled juggernaut of ancient warfare. The annexation of Greece by Rome reverberated profoundly, birthing an innovative political and economic framework that harmonized the Greek domain under a singular administrative edifice. Furthermore, Rome disseminated its cephas and faith throughout Greece, interweaving Hellenic and Roman customs to such a degree that their influence echoed across European culture for countless ages. Rome brought its advanced technology to Greece, introducing innovative forms of construction, agriculture, and administration. As a result, Greece blossomed into a hub of Christianity, with numerous Greek cities emerging as pivotal centers of early Christian influence. However, Rome's takeover of Greece wasn't universally embraced by the Greek populace. Many perceived Rome as an unwelcome foreign force and harbored resentment towards the loss of their autonomy leading to uprisings against Roman dominion. Notably, a remarkable uprising emerged under the leadership of the talented Sicilian artist Lydia Kinley during the conflict against Sparta, wherein Kinley played a prominent role as a Greek luminary. Sadly, Kinley's eventual capture by the Romans in 146 BC led to his demise while imprisoned in Rome. Another valiant Greek figure, Enronicus, contested Roman supremacy 
professing to be the last heir of the Macedonian dynasty of Antigonus. Enronicus spearheaded a revolt against Roman control in 133 BC, only to meet swift defeat. Nevertheless, the uprising inspired other Greeks to resist against Roman rule. The final Roman occupation of the Greek world was established after the Battle of Actium in 2031 BC between the forces of Mark Antony and Cleopatra, allies of Egypt and the forces of Octavian. This battle took place near the Greek city of Actium on the west coast of Greece. Octavian's victory at the Battle of Actium established the Roman Empire as a power in the Mediterranean and cemented his control over the ancient world. The battle was also the end of the Roman Republic and the beginning of the Empire. Octavian became the first Roman Emperor under the name Augustus. The Battle of Actium is one of the most important battles in ancient history, with a significant impact on the politics, culture, and military strategy of the Mediterranean. It is often cited as a classic example of naval strategy and tactics. Starting in the 3rd century BC, the mighty Roman Empire went into decline and was divided into two parties, the Eastern Roman Empire and the Western Roman Empire. Witness a captivating saga unfold as Western realms succumb to the relentless embrace of Northern European barbarian tribes. Meanwhile, the Eastern Roman Empire evolves into the resplendent Byzantine Empire, reigning gloriously for a millennium with Constantinople as its radiant heart. Echoes of Greek tenacity against Roman dominion resonate through the ages, especially during the Byzantine zenith, even as Hellenic culture interweaves with evolving Roman traditions. The Greek language ascends to a revered status as the empire's second linguistic treasure. Within this illustrious epic, Greece stands as a luminous beacon of intellect, producing revered philosophers, writers, and artists whose brilliance molds the fabric of European culture. As a Byzantine bulwark, Greece valiantly fends off the surges of barbarian and Muslim incursions, an embodiment of unwavering determination. A pivotal juncture arrives as Christianity claims its mantle as the empire's official creed. Simultaneously, new territories are embraced, birthing legal codes that later blossom into the bedrock of modern Greek jurisprudence. The twilight of the Byzantine era casts Greece from the Roman fold, Yet its spirit persists, defiant against centuries of foreign pressures. Today, Greece beckons as a cherished global destination, celebrated for its hallowed heritage and profound contributions to the mosaic of human history.